as you can see, the lines have not moved an inch. But I don't think these lines are going to move an inch either. And Efren's just got hold of me, and <coughs> he would like to have a, a look at the lines before it's too late. So I've said, no problem, Ephraim, you can start making your way. So I'm just going to let him know. So we're going to stay here until Ephraim's a little bit closer, and then we're going to move on, and hopefully we can find some other fascinating nocturnal creatures. FF. If, um, as soon as you get close, I'll make space for you. they are going to be flat cats with those full bellies for a while yet. Well, this is a very interesting angle. Not often you get to be above three completely fast asleep lionesses, actually four, if we count the one that's just out of the light. Time for a rollover. Well, hi, Cindy in North Carolina. Uh, Cindy wants to know do the big cats have different brain sizes uh, and is one more intelligent than the other. Uh, intelligence is a slightly more difficult thing to to gauge in, in, in an animal like a big cat. It's, it's very easy for example for a hyena. A hyena as opposed to a lion. A hyena is a much more intelligent animal um, and is able to so problem solve much easier. Not to say lions can't problem solve but they struggle with it. That's either that. And so do leopards to a degree. Uh, what they are is they're very instinctive creatures. So they rely on their instinct. What has she heard? What? I might have heard something or seen something. Maybe heard something in the distance. Now, as James said earlier, the, the females with cubs are more than likely going to head back to their cubs at some point. And of course, those cubs are little, so even if they do move off, we're not going to stay with them. Oh, at least she's... Oh, 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 there we go. Down the hill. Down the hill, onto her pride mate. But it looks like the sand absorbed it luckily enough for the lioness below. Okay, she might go for a drink. So let's just see what she's doing. I know Ephraim's not too far away, so we will make space for him. I think this is about the most action we're going to see out of these cats. Looks like she might have been more interested in defecating than anything else. Yep, 
interesting to see how the hippo reacts. Alright, copy. If the one with Fuzz is about to drink, as soon as she's finished drinking, I'm, I'm out. Uh, give me two minutes, please. Look at that. So, a very full belly. Having a quick drink. I hope you guys are getting some nice screenshots. I'm going to snap a shot quickly. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, aren't we spoiled today? Lots of cats everywhere. You can actually hear her lapping up the water. Okay guys, so Ephraim's just up the road. We've had such a fantastic day. I mean, leopard and lion all over this place. And we'll definitely be looking for these guys on the sunrise safari. But I'm gonna let Ephraim come in now and have his chance. And we're gonna go see what else we can find. I'm gonna think, I think I'm gonna go look for that little African wildcat.